Miami, Florida. It's located in a historical buildings. Both of these buildings are National Registry of Historic Buildings. Why I can tell you? Because it was first project by Henry Hofhauser. He was an architect who bring Art Deco style to Miami Beach. And this synagogue was his first project. It started in 1935, and uh, in 1936, they opened a the door to public. Mm -hmm. This area was like 80% Jewish at this time, at 1936. And, uh, you know, it was about 800 members of this synagogue. This synagogue has about 77 uh, stained glass windows. They win these windows were designed by uh, Rabbi Moses Michelov. They all have a Jewish motifs and zodiac signs, and they were manufactured in Hialeah. Okay. So this building has a real Art Deco details. Okay. No, let me show you. It's like a dome. Outside it's made from copper. All these chandeliers, the original Arctic chandeliers. And these benches of pews, they also made from the all original and made from Florida pine tree. Okay. Okay, this museum was opened in 1995 because in 1980s Jewish population was declined and synagogue, a part of the synagogue was actually closed. I moved to original synagogue which is building next door. So all the stained glass windows and bima, bima is a, like an altar was a priest. Okay. Yeah, okay. we have a rabbi, yes. He is reading the Bible, a Torah. Okay. Uh, Can I, I get closer? Uh, no, first, uh, one of these windows was donated by Meyer Lansky. You know, he's a gangster, but he was a member of the synagogue when it was a synagogue. You know, it's a famous gangster. Okay. Yes. But he was a member of the synagogue. Right now, we have this beautiful installation that you can see. It's made by a local artist, Myra Lear, and donated to our museum. It's made from Japanese paper using acrylic uh, paint and uh, gunfire. This old installation. No, it's reflected the light when sun comes, it reflects the light and it looks very beautiful. Mostly what you can see over here, it's a lot of artifacts. Uh, artifacts donated by Jewish people in Florida. We have the third highest population of Jewish people in the United States, 10 or even 11% of Jewish people uh, they live over here in Florida. So, you know, whatever field you take, you can uh, look on art, sport, medicine, medicine, uh, retail, Jewish contrib uh, people contributed a lot. It's mostly, uh, especially in South Florida, this part of, of, uh, of Florida. So we have uh, cases uh, shown this all artifacts explain Jewish holidays, Jewish uh, habits, uh, and um, you, you know uh, many of these artifacts were donated by Jewish people who came over here, started to come from an 18th century. First Jews came in 1763 and uh, settled in Pensacola. And right now we have about 800,000 Jewish people living in uh, over here. So um, these two buildings, now they connected. 
uh, with the sunroof. The sunroof, so uh, let, let's go. You can take a picture of this. Can you see of this beautiful? It's a Jewish star, like a contemporary mm -hmm. art. interesting because the old synagogue, old model of wooden synagogue that were very popular in 1817, 18th century in Poland and they all disappeared when Nazis came to Poland. Okay. Okay. So we have Jews in the sport section. This original doc documents that can show that Jews were not allowed to live across the Fifth Street, nor up to north of Fifth Street. This is all, like, all original documents. Let, let me take you to Dora. Beautiful plate for Passover. Okay. This is, yeah, I did. It's very unusual. And I wanted to use the plate to speak. It's very important artifact. You know, this Torah you know, travel from Russia to Turkey, to Palestine, back to Russia, and then through Europe, the person, young man who brought this Torah, you know, it helps him to survive. He was, he was an um, Orthodox Jew, and many times during his life, he lost money, he lost family, but this prayer, this Bible, Torah, was always with him, and finally he settled in Florida, and all his uh, decent people, you know, his uh, family, he still, they still live in Florida, and whenever they have bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah, they read from this Torah. So this is very unusual piece that we got. Okay. Okay. Right, so let me take you with we change exhibits. We, we have, um, you know, our core exhibit over here, which is called mosaic, and we also change our uh, temporary exhibit. I want to take you to another uh, building. You know, we have a wonderful exhibit about comics, comics. Okay. This is like a teaching was done in 2008 because of, uh, you know, generosity of Best Mike, first and only Jewish Miss America. You can show this. This was from, from Russia, it's typical Samara method. Telephone switchboard. Mm -hmm. You know, from 1950s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to take. Of course, we have information about the St. Louis 
shape that uh, you know American government not allowed these immigrants from Germany that uh, tried to escape Nazis. Unfortunately, you know the ship went back to Europe, and uh, it was more than 100 uh, people on the ship, and only about 300 survivors. All other people they died because America did not allow these people to come to the United States. Oh wow! It's wow. a lot of people. Huh? That's a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. let, let I think many people will be in this comic illustrator and innovator Will Eisner. Yeah, he yeah. He is the one who started creating funny books. He was a pioneer. Okay, you know, before it was only like uh, pictures, mm -hmm. but he started, he created the comic books, and it was a series called Spirit. Mm -hmm. like. So you can take pictures all over the world. Okay. okay. Because this is most interesting. Of course you can take a picture of the store, this, this in store, and this plant over there, on Okay. Okay.